Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, let me add my thanks to Ostel for the invitation and to all of you for getting up at such an early hour to be here. Um, there is a fundamental problem with this whole subject. That fundamental problem is one of definition. What are we looking to do here? What do we mean when we say primary stability? What are we trying to achieve by measuring primary stability? If we can't all agree on these definitions, then basically you're talking about apples and I'm talking about pears and never the twain shall meet. It's very interesting. You use the word risk. Are we measuring risk? And what do we mean by measuring risk? Or are we just looking to leave the office feeling comfortable because when we hammered the nail into the wall, it was bloody tight? Right? Also, understand something. There is a fundamental difference between a dynamic process and a static process. Primary stability, which we can try and define at some point, is a static process. It is a moment in time. And any unit of measure that you use to record primary stability is therefore, by definition, a static measurement. It cannot be compared or contrasted to subsequent measurements. A dynamic process in what is one in which change takes place. And you require an objective measure that can follow that change. Just remember those two things and then appreciate and understand the ignorance <coughs> and the ridiculous nature of the debate going on in our profession or in this field about so-called primary stability.